Hello, Nick Sharp I do it. So that could right have a cover material camry. Hi, I'm Nick Sharp, a conservation officer working with Natural Resources Wales. And here we are, lovely Kenvig National Nature Reserve. Kenvig is a fantastic coastal national nature reserve down on the south coast of Wales. Here we are, the sea meets the frontal dunes, we've got a classic dune system here, and the Wales Coast Path immediately behind the dunes. There's several designations here. Firstly, it's a special area of conservation reflecting its importance for, importance for habitats and species on a European level. Secondly, it's a site of special scientific interest, uh, important on a UK scale. Thirdly, and slightly differently to the other two designations, is a National Nature Reserve, or NNR. This, as, as well as being as important for its habitats and species, really brings an emphasis on access and people. Good afternoon, I'm David Carrington, that's my name, and I'm the manager of Kenfig National Nature Reserve and I work for Bridgen County Borough Council. Kenfig, um, you know, I look across uh, Kenfig now and any sand dune manager would take one look at, across at the view we got here and say, okay, so, so where's the sand? And uh, it's there, but it's sort of underneath a thick cloak of green vegetation. It's almost like a fossilised dune system. You can see where everything has been happening in the past, but uh, all the dunes have just fallen asleep. It's a big concern to us because a lot of the, the special plants and invertebrates that live on the dunes here need those early successional sandy stages. And if it carries on the, the way it has been over the last hundred years or so, becoming more and more stable, we'll actually lose some of the really precious uh, plants and insects that we so, so care about. If you look back at old aerial photographs, you'll see there's a lot more bare sand in, say, the 1950s. And we're just trying to kind of create a bit more of this habitat, which is very scarce on the site. When you think conservation, you don't usually think heavy machinery. Here at Kenvig, it may look dramatic in the early stages, but this is the only way that we can get some bare sand. If you just look over to my left over here, we've got two excavators moving in to uh, carry on working on two more of our notches. The idea here is to uh, dig their way through the fixed dunes. We've been trying to get a bit of sand moving by creating these large notches, deep trough excavations in the frontal dunes in the hope that the wind will rush through these narrow corridors, taking sand with it and encouraging the frontal dune ridge to move inland as it would have done many years ago naturally. What we want to have is a degree of mobility so that perhaps somewhere between 15 and 25% of the site it is uh, mobile sort of drifting sand dunes. Those are the, those are the sort of the critical habitats for some of our rare, wonderful rare plants. We've got some lovely orchids and wonderful bees and insects here that uh, re you know rely on those early successional stages. The idea is that with these narrow channels in the frontal dunes, the wind speed increases from the beach and moves some of the sand inland, and eventually the frontal dune ridge will be able to move inwards as it would naturally as part of uh, dune succession, creating new parabolic dune features further inland. Natural Resources Wales uh, provide some grant aid towards the management of the nature reserve and also provide expertise on habitat management, sort of certain things like the rejuvenation work that's going on at the moment. We want people to be accessing this site. It's a brilliant resource to make the most of. It's free to come down here. You've got your local communities just over the sand dunes who are using this on a daily basis, whether they're coming out to walk their dogs or people just coming out for a picnic and a lot of tourists. It's so important for health and well-being. Come out and make the most of the outdoors. This is a brilliant place to come down and, and enjoy yourselves. Just need to look in the local papers and the um, local sort of uh, magazines and things. There always seem to be every month photographs of Kenfig. You know, it, it means so much to the, the local community. It's a real place for uh, getting out, getting away from it all, uh, enjoying the countryside. You know, not everyone that comes here is an expert on wildlife, but uh, you know, lots of lots of people can get gain pleasure just just from being such a wonderful place. Lovely bit of Welsh, wild Welsh coastal landscape. Go down, have a look over Kenfig Pool. Uh, we've got a lovely bird hide to sit in, and uh, it's one of the best places, probably the best site in all, all of Wales to see a rare reed bed bird called a bittern. So you can sit in there, have a, cup, have a flask of tea or something, and then uh, go for a walk down to the beach. And you've got the most, it's a bit, you get windswept, but it's just this fantastic, you know, winds fresh off the Atlantic. It, it's very invigorating, very good for the health. <laughs>